can see that with our time lapse out over western Kentucky. Can you believe it? Rainfall, finally. Zooming in towards Rock County, southwest of Janesville, you're starting to see some light snow. Places like Orfordville, Newark, Highway 81 and North, a northerly track close to Chicago. That would not only bring us that second round of snow, but several inches and also probably major travel impacts. But look at these cold temperatures begin to work their way into the region going into Tuesday at 7 a.m. Woo! Seven degrees for that wind chill. I'm tracking heavy rainfall across the state. In fact, we have a few flash flood warnings in effect. Saturday, that's when things begin to change. We'll start out with light snow Saturday morning into the early afternoon hours. Cloud cover already beginning to move right on out of the low country. Well, it certainly seems like just another average day in the upper Midwest. We had flurries this morning. Those are in today at 3 p.m. Some cloud cover already starting to build in. Note the temperature 22 degrees. Now watch the wind clear skies all the way through the night and through the next day as well. So New Year's Eve. It is a go 1230 a.m. We're sitting in a perfect spot right here for a very significant amount of snowfall. Welcome back to Spectrum News One. I'm meteorologist Jed Kristoff. Big changes on the way. We'll start out with showers for your Veterans Day, but soon those rain showers, they switch over to snow showers and get this, single digit wind chills going into your Tuesday morning. A big Arctic blast on the way. We can see that here with that dip in the jet stream. That means this frigid air, it's able to work its way straight into our region. But let's bring it down to the surface. Here we are on Monday, a cold front off to the north and west. Now as that cold front begins to move through, we'll start out with rain and end with snow. And then for your Tuesday, we're locked into some frigid digits here. A cold northwest wind working its way straight into our area, making it feel like we're in the single digits. But let's go ahead and take you out hour by hour, 1 p.m. for those snow chances. We're not seeing any snow at all here. In fact, we're in the upper 50s across the board. And you're almost wondering, will it even snow? But watch this. It changes and it changes quick. Here we are getting close to that commute time, 6 p.m., still at 50 degrees. But we're starting to see some snowflakes begin to mix in here with some of that rain. Now, as we move forward in time and get closer to 10 p.m., that's when we see these temperatures get close to that freezing mark. And likely sometime after 10 p.m., we switch to all snow across the area. And it actually should leave a decent accumulation across the state of Kentucky. How much are we talking about? In general, probably about a coating to an inch for portions of western Kentucky. And then a little bit more here in eastern Kentucky, mainly due to the elevation. But reg regardless of that, it is going to be very cold going into your Tuesday morning. It's already cold here, 18 degrees in Owensboro, 23 the feels like temperature due to those winds at 8.30 p.m. on Monday. But look at these cold temperatures begin to work their way into the region going into Tuesday at 7 a.m. Woo! Seven degrees for that wind chill very early in the morning. Three in Paducah. It's going to be downright chilly. You want to break out those heavy coats. But for your Monday, we'll start out pretty warm. Like I said, we're going to get to about 55 before that cold front moves through. And then we get really cold. And look at Tuesday. We're only going to warm up to 30 degrees. We could break a record for that day. We're not even getting above freezing across the Louisville metro. It is going to be very cold. And it's going to stay cold, too, for your seven-day forecast. Look at that. 100% odds to see those raindrops turn to snow showers. And then we drop to 21 degrees going into Tuesday, where we don't get above that freezing mark. And then look at that. 16 degrees is what you'll wake up to on Wednesday morning. And look at the rest of the week. We don't even get out of the 20s for a low until Saturday into Sunday. We are still tracking snow showers this afternoon, mainly off to the south and east of Madison near Rock County. Places such as Stoughton, Fulton, Milton, even to the north of Janesville. You're picking up on that light snow before the main show arrives. And here it is, portions of northwest Missouri that will be moving into the Madison area over the next few hours. We'll go ahead and time that out. And we'll also have to talk about a big shift to the east. But nonetheless, we are still expecting big impacts and I'll discuss in just a few minutes.
Well, how about that? That cold front almost out of the low country. So that means we're going to cool off a little bit. We do have a brief cool down midweek. Plenty of sunshine as dry air works in behind it. And then we have the possibility to see a late week storm that could bring some rain chances. But how about this cool down? We got to 73 degrees today. Keep in mind the normal high 59 well above that, but we're approaching a little bit more closer to normal with a 64 being our forecast for tomorrow. Some milder air certainly working its way in. For your New Year's Eve celebrations, you don't have to bring the raincoat and you don't have to bring the umbrella, but it will be a little chilly. We're forecasting 43 degrees at midnight, so bring that coat with you if you're out viewing those fireworks. For your weekend, looking pretty good right now. 10% odds to see raindrops. We could trend that up a little bit depending on what the models do with this weekend system, but the majority of that rain looks to fall on Friday. 63 Saturday, 53 Sunday. Some cooler air really working its way in behind that next system, and here it is. Here's our next weather maker Thursday that warm front well down to our south and west high pressure in control. But watch this as this moves forward into uh, Thursday and Friday. We're right here situated in between that warm front and the cold front. So that's when we're going to see our best shot of rain. And as that cold front moves through, we could see some more lingering showers Saturday as well. And then check this out. This moves through Sunday and that's going to bring us some really cold temperatures below average. But we'll get to more on that in just one second. Currently, we're watching some clouds that are beginning to move off the coast. And honestly, these don't seem to stick around too much longer. It should set up to be a beautiful sunset. So bring those cameras with you if you're going to be out and about. We can see that on Futurecast, clear skies all the way through the night and through the next day as well. So New Year's Eve, it is a go. It's going to be a spectacular day to get out and enjoy the festivities. All right, here's your forecast for tonight. We should drop to 45, clear skies, but cold. So bring that jacket with you if you're going out and about. Tomorrow, a little bit milder, a high of 64, but still that's a little bit above average. It's going to be a nice day, sunny skies, not even any clouds in the sky. Here's your extended forecast forecast. Happy New Year Wednesday. It's going to be a beautiful day 64 the high, but check this out as we get closer to Friday 60% odds to see raindrops and then going into your weekend. We drop that down to 10, but look at that for Sunday 53 the forecast high and we tumble into the lower 30s overnight.